725. Let's get out and about. Section D of today's Kenosha News. And the queen of Section D, Liz Snyder, is here. Liz, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you this morning? Doing well. Coffee's hot, ready to roll. Looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, it's going to be like 72 today, but then on Saturday, 30. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Welcome to Wisconsin, America. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your Thursday. (laughs) Yeah. That's uh, weather best described as thump. Ouch. Yeah. That hurts. Uh, Roller coaster of temperatures is what I heard on Monday on the weather. (laughs) And I thought, yes, that is very true. Up and down and all around and out and about. That's what we're doing today. Uh, And a lot of theater. Why don't we start with uh, Mean Girls? That's going to be at Bradford uh, starting, well, today, actually. It opens tonight. Yes, and it opens tonight, and it's only four performances, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. So you got to catch it quick. Catch it quick. Now, it's this like is, high school. It goes by very fast. This is the show that was written uh, based on the film uh, that Tina Fey wrote. Uh, I think most people yes, know the and story. She also Mean wrote Girls. the musical. Yeah, she adapted her own musical, and it, it was a Broadway hit. And now this is the pilot production for the high school version of it. So this will be the wow. debut. So this is I know. A, a pretty yeah, big Bradford deal. students got to read the you know script last year make suggestions to music theater international yeah it is a big deal um you know that and that's not unusual holly stanfield the theater teacher at bradford she has a you know long standing relationship with music theater international company and so they send stuff to bradford a lot so we are very fortunate we get to see a lot of pilot productions of different shows that's a that's a big deal for the KUSD arts uh, situation man that's that's huge that's yeah that, that's cause nice the to things have that, that they do here then they'll they'll send it out to high schools all across the country then this will become like the standard like yep this is how you do this show all right so uh, check that out yeah. at uh, bradford this weekend you also have in the out and about section today, the fall theater preview. Lots of shows coming there up for is folks lots to enjoy. Of stuff going on. Yes, it'll be a busy theater season, and that's what happens. You know, we get on this roller coaster of temperatures, and then after a while, it's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to be inside, and you want to enjoy. Yeah, so it's a good time to do it. So Some local yeah, like um, Hair Musical is this Saturday and Sunday, and then next weekend that's in Seabrook Chapel at Carthage. So old hippies like you probably remember hair, right? <laughs> well, I, I remember when I used to. <laughs> remember have when some. you had hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that. Well, it was quite a while ago, so uh, I may check it yeah. out just to, for just for memory's sake. Anyway, just for memory's sake. And this is the final weekend for Drop Dead, which is a farce at the Racine Theater Guild. It's the final weekend for admissions. That's at Trumper High School. That's about the college admissions, you know, policies. Oh, okay. And how it affects one family, yeah. It's a woman who's very, you know, at this progressive school where she's like, look at us, we have diversity, and we are opening up this, you know, elite boarding school to all sorts of people. And then her son doesn't get into the Ivy League, and so all of a sudden it flips the whole script on her. So, And then the students at Carthage, they created their own show, Memento Mori, about death and dying and all that kind of fun stuff. And that has its final weekend this weekend. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to see, a lot of choices, and a lot of fun stuff coming up. Yeah, and uh, holiday time, Racine's having their holiday parade this weekend as well. Yes, they are, Saturday. So if you're like, you know what, I need to get into the holiday mood, they're going to have their holiday parade and tree lighting ceremony. Uh, the parade starts at 5.30 p.m. at the West Street Bridge and goes on Main Street to 6th Street and disbands at City Hall. So that's, you know, then they have the tree lighting ceremony in Monument Square at 6.30 p.m. And, uh, and they I light know the that tree. the holiday power couple, uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus, will be there as well. Because oh, yes, they're always there. They yes. Carolers will, will be there singing Christmas favorites, and and then they're going to have fireworks after the tree nice. lighting. Nice. I like that. So then you can go home and start getting your tree out. And I'm now, I think this, this time of year is hilarious. I walked, drove by his house. Full Santa, snowmen, lights, everything Monday morning. Really committed. And the houses on the other two sides have pumpkins and scarecrows. <laughs> <laughs> nice juxtaposition. It's 20 pages yeah. out and about today in the Kenosha News. At newsstands worldwide online, kenoshanews.com. And they still bring it to your house, Liz. What they should they do? bring it to your house, just like Santa. What tip, should they do? Tip your carrier and your usher. <laughs> and your usher. Oh, there you go. Nicely done. Liz Snyder, thanks so much. <laughs> have a great weekend. Have a good one. Stay busy.